Hello Pisces, how are we doing? Good morning to all, my prayers are with you for just waking up and being able to see you in another day. I always pray for you, yes I do. I, I ask God to protect you and guide you. I ask God to protect and guide all, everyone, even the ones that watch me for whatever reason. Yes, it's important. I pray for all. Um. Now, I will be putting a uh, link for tomorrow's class. Okay, I'm almost done with this oil. It's time for me to get another one. Um, I will be putting a link up today for the people that are going to my class. Okay, so the class starts tomorrow. I want to do um, two questions. Um, I'm going to be doing the questions uh Ask me anything or ask me questions about your um, twin, whatever, whoever you want to be with or whatever is going on in your life. Um, I'm going to be doing that and I'm going live on um, on chat, okay? So I'm going to get all this going on. Also, I want to start um, my podcast um, also on, um, uh, I can probably do that Sunday around maybe 2 o'clock. Okay, before I take my grandson home, I would like to do that. So I'm going to put everything on the air, okay? Um, thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who go on my webpage and purchase my oils, my um, items, you know, my necklace, my um, stones, my bracelet. Um, I do have a couple bracelets to do. I got to get on these bracelets because I did promise a couple of y'all some bracelets. Of these sorts, um, I am making them for um, boys and girls because I don't know where you come from, but in my my house, my mom taught us all about our chakras. These are the braces that I make, um, if you're interested, but these are the ones that I'm making. As you see, I have this one. Um, this is the one that I, um, I got this one from Cancun, and I've been home, so look, it's still beautiful, and I did make a lot. Of these okay so um I do have candles and everything else okay thank you for all those who get private readers and donate to my channel um, on Christmas I would like to start um of uh, something that we can um, put uh, a dollar um, will go towards um, I wish I could do it less than that but I um, they only allow you to do a dollar. Um, that's the less. But a dollar for next year and whoever wins the pot, okay, will be given that money. And we will, as we go along, we're going to know every day how much is in that pot, okay, for whoever is going to win that for next year. And I will give you that next year around Chris, around Thanksgiving this way, you can use that money to do whatever you want, okay? Um, we're going to do that. We need to get going and start doing things to help um, each other. And wh whoever, whatever it is I can do for you, I will be more than glad to do it for you, okay? Um, okay, let's get started with this reading. I love you all so dear much. So, so much. It's ridiculous how much I love you. Yes, I do. I want to start doing readings throughout the day, different readings, okay? Um, what they thinking about you, how they, um, what are they, uh, let's see, we can, you can ask me to do any kind of reading. Just tell me below here what kind of reading that you would like me to do. Because, you know, I freestyle with the spirits and whatever the spirit tells me, that's what I do. But whatever reading, uh, whatever kind of reading you want me to do, just let me know what kind of readings you want and I will do them at the bottom. Okay, tell me on your comments what kind of readings you would like for me to do. All right, spirits, tell me what Pisces need to know. Improving your health, and I think that's important. Improving your health, how you eat, how you exercise. Everything you put in your body is who you are. Remember that. Everything you put into your body is who you are. Take care of yourself. Take care of your health. Get some sleep. Eat right. Even if you don't like to exercise, I'm not the one that like to exercise either. But I, I wake up and I walk. I just walk. I don't think about that I'm exercising. I just walk, okay? 
All right, Pisces, let's get going with this reading. Archangel, this, these are your, your cards, and I would love for you to come into the reading. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, okay, and this is how it goes down. And all of them came out at one time, Pisces, all of them. So, Pisces, you got the strength card. The first card is the Leo. The second card is the Four of Cups. The third card is the Will of Fortune. Okay? Um, tell me more. Oops, they are flying. The fourth card is the Queen of Cups. Let's get going with this. I'm loving it already. Oh, my God. The Seven of Cups. Oh, we. Come on, Spirits. Talk to me. Or Michael is. And then you got the Knight of Swords. And after the Knight of Swords, you got the Seven of. The Knight of Swords and then the Seven of Swords. And that's the only card that I will be concerned about. But that is. um. That is a card that fell out as um an extra, but we're going to find out what that extra And Also, I'm going to pull out another card for that extra. You know I am, right? All right, now, you got the strength card, right? And you got the four of cups, all right? A personal power, all right, um, that you have of compassion that brings about forgiveness, realizing that your strength, that you're stronger than you know. So... Somebody here, Pisces, it's all about compassion here and knowing that you are stronger than you will ever know. Do you hear me, Pisces? You are stronger than you will ever know. All right? And, and this is true because you tamed that lion. Okay? And you're not the same person you've ever been. I feel like you are so, you have so much that you improved about yourself. And I'm going to tell you, Pisces, the best improvement that you can get in your life is the way that you talk and the way that you think. See, these two things here, right? These two things are the most vicious. It can be the most vicious thing or the most positive things in your life. Do you understand? So the way that you think and you talk, it's who you are. Humble yourself no matter what. How they say um, pressure bus pipes. Isn't that how I say pressure bus pipe? Whatever pressure someone puts you in, know that you got to take the pressure and be humble. You know, that's what my friend always say to me. Pressure's bus pipe. Why would you put your coat on and want to leave? Pressure's bus, bus pipe in here. I used to run, but I can't run no more. I got to face it. I got to face everything that's in front of me. All right? You got to get the strength in you. Pressure's bust pipe, and don't you ever forget that. And don't you let that pressure bust you. Stand in your strength. Stand in your power. Stand in no, just stand up to whatever it is. And I don't care what it is. Stand up to it. And humble yourself. And humble yourself. That don't mean argue. That don't mean look at. No, it's humbling in yourself. Listen. You get a lot more out of that. A lot more. Just humble yourself. Okay? Because Pisces, we have a way of thinking about situations within ourselves. And see, we don't only want to understand what we're thinking. Because whatever the situation is, that's what always gets us in shit that we're in. Because we have a way of thinking. And it's kind of funny, but nobody else can think the way we think. Because we are way ahead of our time. And I mean way ahead. It's like you already created. Whatever you want is way in front of you. And guess what? You got to come down and think right here. Because people don't understand us. And sometimes it can start a lot of miscommunication because of how we think and how we react. And it's only that we do things in the way we think and the way we react when it has another person involved. And it's not fair. All right? Now, I'm not saying that the, the not fair part is that we think ahead of ourselves, right? 
and then we already there. But guess what? We're there alone. We're not there with whoever else we bringing in to this situation because we already have it all planned. And that's not the way it goes. Okay? So remember that. And I'm telling you because that's me all the time. And then I got to humble myself when someone's telling me, why did you do that? Why? But don't you know if you would have done this um, this way, you know, I would have been able to do what I had to do because you had me sitting here waiting on you to whatever you decide. You you tell me you're on your way. You're in the shower, taking the shower, cleaning the kitchen, mopping the floor. Take, and they right. They could have been doing something in two hours that took me to get there. Right? And it's not fair. And I have to learn to, you know, change ways about me. That's only right to do. You know, respect other people's space <clears throat> and that they have to, things to do. Okay, so the four of our uh, cups, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, falling, uh, uh, failing to recognize a magical opportunity, missing the point, the distraction of everyday living, daily lives, con uh, disconnect, contentment. Or, um, or discontentment, uh, right? Or being bored. Lost in your own world. Wake up. Didn't I say that? You're getting the strength. And it's something here that, you, that you're that missing the opportunity. It's like we miss the opportunity on a lot of things in life. Because you might be in a situation where you don't want to be in. Okay? Where you don't want to be in. And this can be in any situation. It can be that you you are missing opportunities in your relationship or missing opportunity with all your blessings, all right? Because choices that we make, okay? Um, but you got to get the strength. It seems like you, 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 you get the strength to... Not try to miss this opportunity. You can't miss an opportunity that you are afraid to take because of all other reasons that don't that doesn't even really pertain to you. And if it does pertain to you, it's not like it's a part of you. It's a part of you that's been disconnected a long time ago. And it could be a part of you where you somebody don't understand that it's it's not nothing there anymore. You can be disconnected from your family. You can be disconnected from your job. Okay. It's something here that you are missing out on a point that you need to make. All right. You can't sit there bored with a situation. You can't sit there feeling sorry for the situation because if you don't make move in a situation, get the strength to move on from a situation that is not serving you in no shape, form, or way. You missing an opportunity of a lifetime because we sit there and we feel sorry for ourselves and we don't need to feel sorry for ourselves. You feel bored. Somebody is boring you, whether it's your job, whether it's a relationship, whether it's somewhere that you don't want to be and you just bored to death. And that is what that disconnect that you got. On your daily life, there's something here that is you're not even connected to. You're not you're not even wanting to be with, but it bores you to death because being around a situation that you don't want to be in, it can bore you to hell to death. And it just takes too much out of you because it's it's just like, when is this gonna be finito? I don't care what it is. Whether you are you you got to get the strength to move on from a situation here that um failing to recognize a magical opportunity honey this is a magical opportunity that you got to take all right and maybe you don't know how to take it but it's an i'm gonna say it again a magical opportunity that you need to make all right um but you missing the point of it all why are you missing a point why are you afraid to take, to get the strength to do what you need to do? Why? Who are you feeling sorry for? Them or yourself? Because if you're feeling sorry for someone else, guess what? You're missing out on your magical opportunities. 
right? Really, everything will fix itself, no matter what it is or who it is. Whatever you leave will fix itself, but you can't miss out on this opportunity that you have, right? Missing out on that point, honey, it's a point here, and you know what the point is. You're missing out on it. Why? Because you are distracted from that daily life, right? You can't see it, right? Um, discommitment or being bored, the loss in your own world. Wake up. Look at it for what it is. Get the strength to do it. You can do this. Whatever it is that you need to get going with and wake up before you move, miss this beautiful, magical opportunity that is right there for you. Stop playing yourself, Pisces. You cannot do this to yourself. You need to move on from whatever it is. And I mean from whatever it is, okay? You need to move on. You can't miss out on an opportunity that you got here because you're sitting there um, with just think about everything that is distracting you. Other things in your life are distracting you. You need to stay focused, baby. Focus is everything, okay? Must stay focused, okay? It isn't all about you. It is not all about you. Okay, now you know this may come as a big shock, but it isn't. Okay, now you know it's going to come as a big shock, but it isn't. Your focus, your focus, many, your focus may, may been, um, or may have been a little too narrow. All right, a little too narrow or late. And the people around you are starting to feel, um, you know, that something ain't right here, right? And are withdrawing from you. So let me tell you something. If you miss out on this opportunity, somebody is going to pull away from you. And you ain't going to like that at all. And you know what I'm talking about. If you can't meet, understand a point that this person, these people are telling you, you are going to miss on an opportunity that you know is going to, oh my God, it's going to be the worst and you're going to feel it, right? Um, Because people, you know, this person is going to withdraw from you. They're not going to hang around till you decide what you want to do because you don't know what you want to do because you're trying to be in a place where you don't want to be and you don't need to know how to make decisions about removing people and things that you do not want around you anyway, all right? If you are withholding sex, okay, affection or even giving someone the um, silent treatment, knock, knock it off, okay? It is already unattractive. Ooh. We. It is already unattractive. Knock it off if you're not giving somebody sex, um, or um, you know, you're giving them the silent treatment. Knock it off. And I'm gonna tell you something. Knock it the fuck off. If you don't want to have sex with somebody, you giving them the silent treatment, uh, because you want to be somewhere else. Guess what you need to do? You need to let go. Okay, because somebody is gonna withdraw from you, and you're not gonna like it. All right, you need to know what you want to do. Um, clearly, you are not impressed about something. You're not impressed about something or being somewhere you don't want to be anymore, right? You are close off. Um, you're close off physically, and having no more, and no, and wanting to have nothing. Or whatever they BS, okay. It's like you don't want to be bothered with people, all right? Um, who is coming your way? You, uh, it's like you have um things, a lot of thoughts, and you also missing out on everything positive and good too. Snap out of it. 
I'm going to say it again. You need to snap out of whatever it is. Because, honey, God has a cup here that is given to you. But you got all of these cups in front of you and all your fruits in front of you and everything in front of you. Um, but you need to get the strength. Let me tell you, you need to get the strength to get all of this. Your fruits. Okay? You are missing a point and you're going to miss a magical opportunity here. Okay? Because you're being so withdrawn from a situation. You don't speak. You don't have sex with this person, you don't do anything. It's like you, you're withdrawing yourself from a situation. Or even, um, you with, it's like you, you are so clear and it's nothing that this person can impress you with anything they do because you're not there, okay? You're close off. You're so close off from this person. It's like you cold as ice. Right? And, and it's like you don't have no feelings. It's nothing there. Right? Because you are missing a point of where you really want to do and where you really want to be. You need to open up and stop sitting somewhere where you don't want to be. Do you understand? Because guess what? you The person that you want to really be with, you're going to push that person away from you. If you don't stop and make choices and stop being bored. And stop being disconnected. Honey, listen to me. You can di disconnect yourself from this. And not do anything with this person. Because you are over here. Wanting to be in, in another situation. But you cannot. Okay. You cannot live like that. That is not the way you need to live. You need to make choices in your life. Okay. And I mean make choices. Listen to me. God can only come but so far. And then he said, now it's your, the rest is your work to do. What you going to do about this? See, I'm going to tell you something. It ain't nothing like being in a place that you want to be and be happy. That's the most beautiful feeling in the world. But if you are in a situation, you cannot be two people at one time. You only one motherfucker, okay? I don't give a fuck. Set yourself free to love. Okay? Come down from your clouds and live the reality of the world or what's in front of you. All right? And whatever it is that you need to get rid of, whatever it is, let it go. Because guess what? People will find their own way. It's not the end of the world for this person. I mean, let shit go. Because you got so much more blessings. Please don't let somebody dis detach from you because of the way they feel that you are doing them. When you know that you love you, you either you give it all here and let go of that. Because if you don't let go of that, you, you're going to miss on this what you want. Because you got to open up completely to someone. All right? Then you get the will of fortune. All right? The will of fortune. A fresh start or an ending of a delay. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't that what I just said? Right? Suddenly or unexpected progress. That's right. Because when you let go, then you get what God gives you. Because God says, listen, I already took you all the way there. I already took you to the beginning of that bridge. Now it's up to you. Are you going to cross it or are you going to leave it? What you going to do? Either you're going to, in other words, I'm going to tell you something. This is the boat that says the future. And this is the boat that says the past. Right? Are you going to get on the boat that says the future? And don't worry about the future when you get there what it is. Or are you going to stay in the past and be stuck with something that is not even, it's not even in your nature. It's nowhere in you. You don't even want it. It's like you got a whole bunch of clothes in the closet that you can take to the Salvation Army and give it to people that need it. Whatever you leave it, honey, it's somebody out there for that. Don't worry about it. Move on what is for you. Makes you happy. Okay? Um, A very positive change in your life. Traveling or a new vehicle. Honey, travel to the right thing, honey. And don't be afraid to travel. Or get that vehicle. Whatever it is that you're moving 
forward with, you cannot control the will. What boat are you going to get into the future or the past? Because check this out, Pisces. Whatever it is in the past, is you don't have no feelings. You don't have no sex. You don't do nothing with a person in the past. They just fucking there. They're what? Right? Or whatever it is that you hold it on to, I don't care what it is. A job or, or waiting for an answer, an opportunity. Guess what? On this side, on this boat for the future, when you get on that, you're going to know what it is over there. But God says, I take you to the brick. All right, I take you to the train station. I take you to the airport. I take you to the yacht when you're going to get ready to get on this boat, right? I take you on the anywhere in life. But now, I did my part. Now, it's up to you to get on whatever it is that you need to step into, right? Because unless you step in there, you're not going to be moving on. Or do you plan on sitting there, right, and never getting on an airplane, a boat, the car, it, whatever it is, are you planning on being stuck or are you plan on moving on to that another direction that is waiting for you there? Why are you so afraid to move forward? And I don't care what it is you're afraid to move forward, whether it's a job, whether it's leaving um, your husband, whatever situation, your, uh, your boyfriend, your ex-boyfriend, whatever, things that are not for you. Stop holding on to it. Old clothes, old furniture. Clean your refrigerator. Clean your um, your um, dry good. You know, it's something here that needs to be clean and put away. I mean, I mean, not put away in the closet. Put away outside of your door. Right? Yeah, it needs to be outside, not inside. Outside. Set set it free. Okay, because God has many blessings for you. But you cannot control that will. You must move on with that will. Don't be afraid, okay, to move on. Then you got the queen of cups. And that's why I said, don't be afraid, honey. You got it going on. Love and compassion, psych and self-sacrifice. You sacrifice everything for other people in front of you. When these people that, that you sacrificing something for is not even for you. Okay, it's not for you because what is for you, you know what it is. So why you are afraid to let go of something that is not for you to gain what is for you. And I'm saying say it again, whether it's a job, whether it's a, a, a husband, an ex, whether it's um, your kids, okay, whatever it is, you must. Get it out of your space, all right, to make room for what is coming for you. And God, again, he can't take you all the way there, but he's going to let you make a decision because you're right there. Oh, my God. You're right there, Pisces. You're right there, baby. Trust me. I pray every day for you, for the cross watchers, for myself, to make the right choices in life and to not be afraid. Because you can't be afraid. It's like there's something here that is stopping your growth. But you're so afraid because, again, you put it in front of you and it's nothing. Nothing should be like that in your life for God. And whatever it is that is in front of you, that ain't, I'll tell you, there's no meaning to it. Maybe it was one time, but it's not no more. So why do you hold on to it? Because trust me, it is going to be okay for whatever it is that you let them go. Trust me, when you get there, you're going to know what I'm talking about. And I pray to God 
each and every day. Okay, he gives you the choice to cross on over, right? Let me tell you something. I was telling somebody yesterday, one of my YouTubers, if I should die right now, I'm okay with it. Because I said to you many a times on my YouTube, when I thought death was knocking on my door, right? When that day come, I'm prepared. Because if I don't know nothing, I know for sure that I'm in touch with my soul. If I don't know nothing, I know that I am completely in touch with my soul. And whatever it is, anything after that, I ask God all the time to allow me, to give me the strength to cross over to what is waiting there for me. And whatever it is that is doesn't even nowhere near my heart, my soul, my anything, to find peace with that situation and let it be happy over there. Because over here is what awaits me and I know it. I can do cartwheels. Okay, when I think about it, it makes my heart leap with joy when I think about it. Because the more you sit here and think about what you need to do, right, the more you hurt the people or a situation that awaits you. And that person is not going to be waiting too much longer. Okay, that person is deciding to say, if you don't know what you want, then I cannot sit here and wait on you. And you need to make it, okay? Um, you know you're, you, you know you're listening to your intuition. Your intuition is telling you a long time ago, you need to do this, but it's like you're fighting it because you're feeling for other people's sadness, sorrows, when guess what? Their sorrows will become joy. And your letting go will become a beautiful magic opportunity. You must close that to enter this. And do you understand? I'm talking to a Pisces out there that is very ready to do this decision. Um, a deep love of family and friends. Follow your heart. You must follow your heart. You must because, honey, you are looking this way. And it's something there in your, whatever it is, and I'm not going to say your past, but it's something in your life right now that you must make a decision about. That is holding you back from growth. Because you, let me tell you, you, you got to stop feeling sorry for people. Okay, you need to stop feeling sorry for who, whatever it is. And gain your strength to say, listen, it ain't nothing here. I got something and you got something. And we both need to go to see what, <laughs> what I got. What I got is beautiful. Honey, like I've been planning this plant for, um, for a long time. This plant is sitting beautifully growing. Okay? Beautiful growing. This plant is saying, now, Lisa, it's time for you. To take me out of this pot and plant me outside because the roots is ready to expand. Are you coming with me and are you going to pick all the fruits that I got for you? Or are you going to sit there and keep me in this little great pot where I can't grow no more because all my roots are all tangled up? And I need to spread my wings and fly. And they said, if you can't let me spread my wings and fly, then set me free. Because I got to go. And that's what they're telling you. I got to go. You playing too many games. And I'm not part of your games anymore. And that's what they're telling you. It's time for you to clean up whatever clutter is there. That is not really important to you why are you making it so important what is important to you you're making it so difficult and what is not important you're making it easy for them are you crazy come on pisces you're better than that 
right? Then you got the seven of cups. Make a choice. Stop procrastinating. I'm saying everything before I even do your reading. Stop overanalyzing shit. Get clear on what you desire and move forward. Too many options and addictions. Stop being addicted about shit that don't even matter. Stop setting your mind on shit that's not even important. Right? Because all the options you have don't amount to the one that you want. Do you understand? It's time for you to put all those, um, all those seven, all, how about this, put, it's seven, right? So why don't you put all those fucking, all those six cups, cups and all that somewhere else to take the damn one cup. You know what the one cup is. Stop playing, Pisces. Damn, why are you making things so difficult? Don't be attached to anything with addictions. And I mean anything, you know. It may be that you with a situation because of all the things they can give you. And it ain't shit they giving you. But nothing. They not giving you shit. Come on, Pisces now, damn it. You might be addiction, addicted to that one job that you know that you don't even, you're not even happy with. But you're there. When you have all these other jobs that got opening doors for you. What is it, Pisces? And you know what it is. You know what it is. You know that sometimes you got to leave things that no longer are serving you. And I don't give a fuck what it is. Family, friends, jobs. Okay? Something here, you know what it is. You're making it so difficult. Because you're trying to make something easy for somebody else and making it hard for yourself. Come on now. Once you take that shit out of your damn house or whatever is that in your life, whether it's your job, whatever it is, you're going to feel so relieved. Okay? Now, let's see. Because you got a lot of cups of you and your feelings about a lot of shit, right? I mean, in your feelings. Okay, this is not the car of uh, a commitment, right? It is actually, um, it's like the car of you saying it's a choice here, right? Um, is um actually see the opposite. Okay, this car is not the car of commitment. It's the op totally opposite of what commitment is, or the person you ask about or not about. Okay, to get um. Tie down. I mean, what is it? There is just simple, too much to um explain or, or to expect in love. Okay, I'm gonna say it again. This card here is not a card of commitment. It is actually the um complete opposite. You or the person you ask about. Okay, you are the person you ask about are not about to get tied down. You or the person you asking about is not about to get tied down, right? This is just simple. Too much to um too much for you to um expect, all right? Um in love. Um Maybe this person that you want to say, you know, if you don't know what you want and you don't want to be with me, when, then guess what? We, we don't need to be together because it seems like you got too many options and you don't know which one to be with or what you want to do, right? Now, you certainly are surrounded by... Um, you certainly surrounded by... Um, some um temptation something that is tempting you right or your for your time and your money something that is there um and it's all about your time and your money that you're giving into right um choosing an amazing choosing to be amazing it is a 
luxury for sure. It's luxury for sure, whatever you want to choose, right? But it can also be a trap, Ooh, right? Consider carefully and um, identify um, in whatever it's going to illuminate to you in reality. Not everything shine is a Tiffany. Everything that is shining is not a Tiffany, like, you know, Tiffany jewelry. Whatever it is, and all these choices that you got to make that you procrastinated and you overthinking about it, getting clear on what you want and you desire, move forward. Too many options and too many addictions. And you may be addicted to a lot of things that are not good for you. Okay? And you got to make sure that you choose the right one because you might be ending up in a trap because you don't know what you want. And everything that glitter is in gold. And it's like everything you get is not Tiffany either, okay? Everything people wear is not Versace. It's not Gucci, okay? You got knockoffs, all right? Um, just know that this choice you make, you got to be very, very careful about this choice because maybe this person is not ready to be tied up. Maybe this person feels like you don't want to be tied up. Maybe this person feels like you got too much to choose from, all right? But if you don't realize what you want, you're going to miss out on a great opportunity. And that's some real shit, all right? And it's all about what you want because I'm going to say it again. Whatever you want, you need to go for it. And you're not going to know what it is until you get there. So what about if both of the things, maybe it's what you wanted and maybe it wasn't what you wanted, when you get rid of what you don't want, and maybe if what you want ain't right, you, you get rid of both. You start new. But at least you're not into what it was that you didn't want it that was standing there. I don't give a fuck what it is. At least you get rid of what you didn't really want. And if this ain't what you really what you want and it wouldn't work out, you move on. But you clear from both ends to start fresh. Okay? Then you got the Knight of Swords coming to you very, very fast. And this is what's coming because you got to make a decision here, right? Um, decisive, focus, the drive, the defense, event that moves with great speed, right? Choosing your intelligent, be responsible for um, your own challenge rather than your emotions, all right? Choose this intellectual, be responsible for your um, challenge rather than your emotions. Suddenly or unexpected change, review your options carefully. Right? So it's telling you that be careful what you choose from because everything isn't glitter. All right? But also, um, Stop overthinking everything. Move into the direction that you want because it seems like somebody here got too many fucking options. All right? And it seems like you and your feelings about this, right? You need to make a decision on which way you fucking want to go because somebody is getting tired of waiting for you. All right? Now, check it out. Meet the warrior, bad bitch. Meet the warrior, bad bitch, right? That's what it's saying about this Knight of Swords, right? It says, meet the warrior, bad bitch, right? Believe me, she knows how to use the sword. You know, and I know how to use the sword, right? And will do so if she feels like she needs to. The Knight of Swords tends to act on their instincts and offer before they have really thought of it. They they learn, they move in the instant before they even think of it, right? That'll be like you. They are also excited to get shit done. They are very excited to get shit done, right? You need to make a decision here, right? They have high um, ideas and will look for the truth in all things. They can be overwhelmed. Stay your 
grounds, stand your grounds with the night. They will respect you for it. Somebody here, you need to make a choice. And this person said, whatever choice you make, I will respect you for it. But don't play with me. This sword is telling you, you need to make a choice because whatever choice you make, I'm going to respect it. But don't play with me. Okay? Whatever it is. But make sure that you're picking the right thing. And I'm going to say it again. Nothing in your life, nothing in your life, and I don't give a fuck with what you think or what it is, right? Nothing in your life, right? Started good. Because everything in your life has to start rock bottom. You have to learn from it, right? You, you, you just didn't get it like that. Everything. Your career, when you get a job, when you're in a relationship, you, you, you think every, you, you get married, you get engaged, you have kids by people, whatever it is, start rock bottom. Right? But you got to understand that the future is the same. You're starting over. And whether you leave something that is not serving you for something else that you want. And if that don't work out, you free from both. So you starting fresh. For real, for real, right? The seven of swords. It lost a peace of mind or a personal freedom. You losing your peace of mind, right? Or personal freedom or getting locked up. So you lost a peace of mind or your personal freedom. Either you can get locked up from this. Losing your mind over this, taking cautions by being aware of others' action, right? Um, a material loss, right? Make sure that you are being honest with yourself in embarrassing secret. So if you don't stop playing, you're the only one that's going to be embarrassed because you're just sitting here not knowing what you want when you know you can tell somebody get going. But why are you making this so difficult? I don't understand. All right? So you got the seven of cups and the seven of swords. You thinking with your emotions, but you know you need to get out of some situation that you're in. And I don't know how much longer you can keep in a situation where you need to be real about. Let, it, let the shit be. Okay? You got to let it be. Now, um, withholding, let me tell you again. All right? Withholding love and sex, okay, to lure it over something, someone is not empowerment. And it's going to weak, okay, or it's going to wreck the trust in your relationship so quick. What are you withholding? A secret. The way you feel. Your passion. Your desire. Someone is taking something from you or, um, you know, are violating you. What is really going on with your emotions and your beliefs? You need to be right about something and you need to move on. Because whatever it is that you are withholding from someone else, sex or whatever it is, okay, Withholding the love or the sex to a, a, a to the Lord is over over someone is not empowerment. So I'm gonna say it again. Withholding love or sex to Lord is over someone is not empowerment. Is and is going to wreck the trust in your relationship. So quit it. If you are withholding sex and love from somebody, you are going to really wreck the whole relationship. All right? You, you, whatever it is that you don't want or whoever you don't want to be with, you need to be honest and let that person go. Okay? Because you're not being honest about it. And it's not good. All right? Now, some, um... Some shady shit is going on. It's going down. Something shady is going down. Okay? So be uh, uh, be alert about it. This card is the theft. It's theft in the night. 
is theft in the night, okay? Whatever this card comes up for you is a reading, in a reading, um, I pull in energy. I check what I have been saying and to whom. And I listen to my intuitions with everything. There is a trickster around you, right? And there's somebody here trying to get away with shit when you know you got to be honest about shit. You got to be honest about shit. It's, I feel like somebody is missing an opportunity on something because either you don't want to be there, either you want something else, but whatever it is, is something here missing. You're missing an opportunity on someone because you're not happy where you at, but you need to let go of something to, to get something, okay? You need to let go of it, all right? Now, I pulled out, I was supposed to pull out a card for this seven of swords, right? But then I pulled all this, all right? So look, when you be real about what you want, this is what you get. The Ten of Cups. A happy marriage, happy ever after. Emotions, contentment, a loving relationship with your children. Raising your children wisely, successful people that you can trust in. You need to be in the right path. So whatever it is, you need to let whatever it is that you're holding on to, let it go to get this, right? And you got the nine of what? Oh my God. So you got the ten of cups and you got the nine of cups. Wish come true. Your dreams become a reality, a magical time in your life. Good fortune, faith of the universe that all will work out. You got that genie in a bottle that says whatever you want, you can have. But you got to want it and you got to go for it. You got something that has to be clear. Okay. And I did it may be needed uh, to be refurnished, refreshed, right? You got the ace of swords. Something here needs to be redone. Okay. Um, overcome an obstacle with faith that everything will work out. And it's telling you again. Everything's going to work out because you got the genie in the bottle. And it's telling you again. Everything will work out. Communicating clear and remaining open to accept whatever it is. Because whatever it is, it's weighing you down, honey. It's weighing you to fuck down whatever it is that you need or whoever it is around you that you're trying to make a choice with. This is weighing you down because it's like you don't even know what, what to... It's like you, you're you afraid of what to expect. You're afraid to make the wrong choice. All right? But how are you going to know and let you make it? Honey, listen to me. What can be so bad? You let go of shit you don't want and if this shit don't work, then guess what? You can let that shit go too. And you're free to really be free to do what you want to do. Because something here needs to be done. Okay? Now, check this out. And it needs to be done like now. All right? Now, before before it's too late. And, and I don't know what it is, but you need to be done with it. All right? And all these cards keep flying out. It is safe for you to love. Open up your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. Let go and be happy. What the fuck? Romance feeling you're feeling are real and worth exploring. Honey, you need to let go because there's something here that's stopping your blessings. Let your friends help you. Ask and accept support from others. Something here you need to let go that you're trying to hold on to that it's time for you to let go. What is it that you need to let go? Let it go and let it be. And I'm going to say it again. Whatever it is that you let go, I don't give a fuck job or whatever it is. Let that shit go because guess what? It's new opportunities and if none of this shit work, it's more opportunity. It's more people. What are you afraid of? Okay? you Because this shit is fucking with your health. With everything in your life. You you all over the place. Pisces, if you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. But get it, get it while you can, damn it. I love you.